Welcome. I wanted to focus this meditation on positive emotions. And we have Hanukkah coming and we just finished Yudtet Kislev. So that's an opportunity to experience joy. Let's start with noticing our breath and feeling the ground underneath our feet. And if you want, you can use a mantra. For this purpose, maybe we'll use the mantra Simcha. Simcha. And you can visualize the letters of the Sin, Mem, Chet, and He. As you breathe in, and as you breathe out. And while we're doing this, notice if you have any body sensations that become apparent. Maybe your body feels really good right now. Maybe rested and relaxed. Or maybe your body is feeling some aches and pains. Wherever there's something in your body that's talking to you that you would prefer it didn't. Let's just, while we're doing the breath, just notice any sensations that come up. We're just noticing the breath and noticing the ground under our feet and noticing if there are any sensations perhaps in the shoulders or the head, the neck, the chest, the gut. And our intention for this practice is to look for emotions Focusing on positive emotions. And if there's a part that doesn't feel too happy right now, just ask that part that doesn't have positive emotions that may be linked to a backache or a headache or whatever else. Just ask that part if they might step aside and let us for now do this practice. And if you have a busy mind, just notice that and come back to the breath. Using the breath as an anchor, noticing body sensations, and looking for any emotions that might come up that might be linked to an ache or a pain or the news, the events going on around us. And let's shift our focus over to some Pitlacha Tehillim. Kipetel 100, Nismor Litoda Hariel Ladonai Kol Haaretz. A, thong, a song for a thanksgiving offering. It says here, shout to Hashem, call Haaretz, the whole earth. Serve Hashem with joy. Come before him with ranana. 
one of the most important things to recognize is joy is very linked to gratitude. And that's what this capital is saying. Joy is also connected to the next line, line Gimel, Deu ki Adonai hu Elohim hu asanu, velo anachnu amo v'tzon marito. You should know that Hashem is the God. He made us. <laughs> and we are his nation. And we are his flock that he pastures. Come to his gates with thanksgiving, with gratitude, into the courtyards with tihila, with praise. Hodulo, thank Hashem and bless his name. Kitov Arnai Leolam Chasto. The ador vado emun dor vador emunato. But Hashem is good forever. His he is kind, from generation to generation. Emunato. He has his he his faith. So we have faith in Hashem, and Hashem has faith in us. So let's break this down. What does it say about joy? It says joy is connected to thanksgiving, to gratitude. And joy comes from recognizing that Hashem is the one who made us. And we are his flock that Hashem watches over us and recognizing and praising Hashem brings joy and having faith in Hashem brings joy. So let's go back and let's think again about the breathing, focus on the breathing and focus on what that capital says. Finding a positive emotion comes from gratitude. So let's go inside and let's let's visualize something that you're grateful for. And I know Hannah does this, and I think it's a really good tool. So what are you grateful for? And it could be something very simple as having a breakfast that is healthy and and feels good for your body. It could be having fresh air, being able to go outside. It could be just thinking about the brachot in the morning of knowing the difference between a rooster, knowing the difference between day and night, and my goodness, knowing the difference between good and evil. It could be if you were to visualize pictures of your family, if you have children or grandchildren, if you have siblings, brothers or sisters, if you have parents, that might bring joy and gratitude. So I will stop talking for a little bit and I'm gonna do some breathing and I'm going to visualize joy and find where I find it in my body. And what it does to my body. If you want, you can Turn your mouth into a little bit of a smile because it's known that even if you smile and if you put your mouth in that position, then that also helps bring joy. And gratitude for this moment of being able to do this practice.
And I feel this joy right here in my chest. And it feels like, like there's more breath when there's joy. And let's think about what it isn't. Joy is not jumping up and down and being hyper. That might be fun. Joy is something inside. Joy is seeing those videos and those pictures of the families reuniting or the soldiers coming home and being held by their parents or their children, or their wives. And coming back to that parak of Tehillim, joy is knowing that Hashem is watching over us every moment in his, that we are his, his flock and he is our shepherd. Joy is knowing that in Eretz Yisrael, you feel that even more than anywhere else. And you may find that there are other emotions that are crowding in on this practice, and that's okay. Notice if there is a part, an internal part that's saying, whoa, 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 how are we gonna be joyous right now? There's so much terrible stuff going on. And you can take that part and you can offer compassion to that part because that part is seeing the darkness and it's hard to let go. And it's hard not to be afraid. And what you can do if you want is you can you can do the butterfly tapping, the small butterfly or the big butterfly as you do the breathing. And you can say, even though there's so much darkness. I can feel joy because Hashem is watching over us. And I can feel joy because of all the blessings that Hashem gives me. And recognizing that paradox of even in a time when there's so much darkness, there's so much more light. And feeling that tapping and feeling that sensation on your chest. Notice if that fear or that negative emotion, that part that feels that negative emotion is feeling any calmer. Check in with them. Maybe they're still there, so let's keep tapping. even though there's so much darkness. I have so much to be grateful for. Ashrechem Yisrael. It is so, so wonderful to be Jewish. There's a Hasidic melody that goes in Yiddish, Tziazai, Siazai, Siazai, Siazai. Whether this or that, or this or that, Freilach Darfman sign. We have to be happy. We have no choice. So that's also tapping Siazai, Siazai, whether this or whether that. Freilach Darfman sign. 
I must be joyous. Let's go back in and check and see if those parts are feeling any calmer. Do they recognize, are they connected to any of the light at this time? And offer them images that you can pull up. And let's just take a few minutes and go inside and find some images that feel joy, that communicate joy, experiences that you've had, maybe pictures that you've looked at. For example, I was just looking at some old photos and I can't help but smile. So we're focusing on gratitude and joy, which are very, very connected. Gratitude for the beautiful blessings and the positive experiences and light that you've encountered. And the joy that comes from just being Jewish and knowing that we're connected to Hashem. And we've survived all these thousands of years and we're going to overcome this one, this war also. We are going to outlive them without question. And let's look at another capital of Tehillim. This is Capital 122. Shir Hamalo, Mutabid, Samachni, Samachti, Baomrimli, Beit, Ranoi, Lelech. A song on the Malot of David, I was joyous when they said to me, let's go to the house of Hashem. We were standing within your gates of Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim habnuya kiir shechabra layachdav. A built up Yerushalayim that a city, like a city that was joined together within, its, within itself. Shasham Alu Shvatim, there the Shvatim, the, the tribes went up, the tribes of Hashem, Shifteya, Edut Li Israel, Nodot Lashem Adonai, a testimony to Israel to give thanks to Hashem. Kishama Yashvu Kisot Lemishpat, because there were set thrones for judgment, Kisot Lebeit David. Thrones for the house of David. Shalu, Shalom Yerushalayim, Yishlayu al Habayich. Request the welfare of Yerushalayim. May those who love you enjoy tranquility. Yihi Shalom Bechelech, Shalva bi Amranosayach. May there be peace in your wall, tranquility in your palaces. And this doesn't just include Yerushalayim. Physically, this includes all of Eretz Yisrael. This includes all of the Jewish communities. Leman achai v'rei 
Adabra na Shalom Bach, for the sake of my brothers and my friends, I will ask, speak, and ask for peace for you. Laman Beit Adonai Eloheinu, for the sake of the house of Hashem, Avach Shatoglach, I will beg goodness for you. And let's have that intention that that capital to Hillam that's been said for thousands of years that we're seeing in this moment and that many people are saying this, this is the capital that um, that we say for the birthday of Zulbabacher Rebbe, Alava Shalom, and Sadiq Lebracha. And the power of this capital we don't even know. We don't even know. We can't even measure the power of Tehillim. So let's focus our minds on the joy that we get from the vision of standing at the gates of Jerusalem or anywhere in Eretz Yisrael, a Jerusalem and an Eretz Yisrael that is built up and that the Shvatim are back. And we ask for peace and tranquility in Yerushalayim, in the palaces, in Eretz Yisrael, for the sake of our brothers and, their, and our friends, we're asking for peace, and for the sake of the Beit Hashem. And let's just meditate on that, on the joy and the focus on Yerushalayim and on Eretz Yisroel and how David and Melech asked and experienced joy at the gates of Jerusalem. And where do you feel that emotion in your body? And who would you like to send that positive light to? Let's send that joy and that light, starting with our immediate families. May they experience the joy and the tranquility. And let's expand that and send that to our extended families. May they experience joy and tranquility. And the aspect of brotherhood and reut of friendship. And send this to our friends who are brothers and sisters. And imas and abbas and sabas and satas. And send those wishes for joy to the soldiers who are protecting with Mesirat Nefesh and the police that are protecting with Mesirat Nefesh and all the security guards that are protecting with Mesirat Nefesh. And all of us who are watching for the safety of our communities, Let's do it with joy in knowing that Hashem is watching over us because we are his flock. Using our imagination to expand that emotion from your heart out to your immediate family, your extended family, your friends, your community, the soldiers, their families who are struggling to keep their routine, all of the communities in Eretz Yisrael and all the, the communities all over the world who are facing unprecedented difficulties. May we all perceive 
that Hashem is here with us and experience tranquility of knowing that Hashem is taking care of us. And let's use that just for the last part of this practice of focusing on Ain Od Milvado. There is no one else except Hashem. When you breathe in, you send that joy to your whole body. And when you breathe out, you send that joy out into the world to all those need to experience that joy and gratitude. And when you're ready, you can come back into the room, reorient back into the room that you're in, feeling your body grounded in that chair or that couch. Or if you're standing up or if you're walking, the ground underneath you and look around and come back into the world as it is. Thank you. I'm going to stop the recording now.